Police had caught up to this car at one point and he, when he stopped for gas, but he's now gotten away. We're going to catch you up on the details. At last check, we know this car was near 435 and 24th Street is where part of this pursuit went. Uh, we've got Sky Trekker overhead following this PT Cruiser, silver in color, uh, as we continue to see as this unfolds at high speeds. Northbound on Cleaver right now at Van Brunt is what we're being told. All right, and I understand. Uh, Captain Greg okay, uh, can you. hear us. Uh, Captain, what have you seen in particular uh, as to what happened at the gas station? Captain Greg, can you hear us? So we'll continue to watch this here, but you can see this car is going at least twice the speed of any of the other cars he's passing there on Cleaver. A school bus there, a semi. Now we're kind of blocked in. Let's see what happens as he squeezes between those cars. Wrong side of the road now. Always uh, hold your breath oh. when they go through those intersections. Yeah. So many of these chases we've seen lately, it seems like they've been relatively low speed, but like you said, that's certainly not no, the case here. No, we can't. No, we can't. All right, and we're going to work to try to get Captain to be able to talk to us here real quick, but this car does appear to be on the wrong side of the road, heading in the wrong direction of traffic, and it oftentimes, when police are chasing, uh, when it gets to be a certain level of dangerous, they will um, back off the gas station where this car stopped was at 45th in Cleveland, and we have been uh, following this, waiting to bring it to you. Um, Captain Greg, if at any time you're at a point where you can talk, just chime in, because we'd love to hear your perspective on this. Hey, guys, can you hear me? It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty faint there. Can you, how about now? Okay, guys, it's been very busy up here, so we apologize for that. Uh, this is a uh, police chase that's been working on the side of this new cruiser. Uh, just coming up to the intersection there, at uh, Van Brunt and 31st Street, heading over towards I-70. You see this guy's been on the wrong side of the road and been driving very recklessly since he actually tried to stop and get some gas a little while ago. Bruce, no uh, mix minus, please. Uh, so now he's going to be under I-70 northbound and now coming up on Van Brunt going up. Uh, so um, I can actually go by East Patrol Division here in just a second. Captain, your audio is a little spotty, but we were able to make out that you said he just went under I-70 there at Van Brunt. We did see that officer throw out some stop sticks, uh, maybe within five or ten feet from that car as it sped by. It appeared to cat catch those that front left driver's side tire, but it's hard to tell if that is now flat from those sticks as it ran over it. It, it looks that way, but it's it looks like it hard to flat, tell from this. It's very tough to tell. Yeah, much slower, moving much slower than what we were seeing here. Uh, Captain, where are you right now? Okay, now we're going to be uh, still northbound uh, Van Brunt coming up to 23rd Street. Northbound Van Brunt coming up to 23rd. We try to make that out, yeah. Sky. All right, so another watch intersection there. Yeah. Stolen uh, PT Cruiser was moving at a very high rate of speed just a moment ago. It appears those two uh, left tires might be flat now, and the speed uh, has slowed down maybe just a bit. On the left side of your screen, this is the gas station we were telling you the person got out, was quickly pumping some gas with a stolen vehicle. Now look at the police officer pulling in. Now watch what happens. He sees he's in trouble now. Rams the police car. Shots, wow, shots are fired. fired. Yeah. And this car drives over the curb, through the grass, and the pursuit then ensues. Now we're back live. You would also think maybe he's driving with a he or she driving with a shattered windshield after those shots okay, fired but it's tough to tell box. there well it's down in the right hand corner of the windshield there it appears that you might see a bullet hole there in the windshield uh, doesn't look like it shattered completely but definitely a flat tire do you see the flapping there on the front driver's side of the car it would seem bit. to me that there's something there whether it's the rubber or the tread or if it's a part of the front of the car there, but look at the bullet hole, what appears to be a bullet hole in the windshield there, as we saw that officer fire a couple of shots at the vehicle. Here, let's watch it again on the left side of your screen. Oh, somebody else is in the car. Look at the passenger seat. Somebody's in there. It Did you guys that see way. that? Yes. So this person had stolen this car, yeah. tried to get some gas. Police caught up with him. Watch the, the person fire. then tries to get away, and shots are fired. Now, so with the activity we were watching, if we rack that again, folks, and show this, if that person is out pumping gas, you can see movement inside the car from the passenger side. Just watch this for a second as we have live on the right side of your screen. Do you see the arm, person in a black tank top? 
Now, the reason this is nervous to me is when the when the officer fires into the front driver's side of that windshield, the bullet comes out the passenger side. Watch this. You see it bust out the bat the side the passenger side window. And if there was someone in that car, it is possible uh, that person could have a graze or have come very close to being hit by an officer fired um, shot. Jamie, we can barely hear him. If you can relay what he's saying about the location coming from SkyTracker as we monitor this live on the right hand side of your screen, can you tell us what he just said about location? Uh, we just passed Bud Park northbound. Okay, so we're not sure we're where this is at the now. moment. What we can say for sure, I believe, is that it looks like that front left tire definitely is gone. Stripped of, yeah. And uh, I think I've seen some sparks there coming from the tire. You would think in this condition they could only go so far. Which is, means we're likely on rims here at this point. Okay, go ahead, Captain. Thank you. Where, where are you at? All right, guys, can you hear me any better? Much yep. better. Go ahead, Captain. As you might imagine, with uh, potential police helicopters in the air, you've got SkyTracker in the air. There's a lot of activity going on. We've got two different people in a helicopter. We have one on the camera following the car in the chase, and you have Captain trying really. It's a difficult job to maneuver everything you have to do when you're flying over the scene like this. So uh, there's a lot to juggle on his behalf, and we want to respect that. But. Uh, as we continue to follow this great job by the crew in SkyTracker staying caught up with this vehicle as it has reached some very high rates of speed. Let's see if we can see if there is uh, still any kind of tread at all on those uh, driver's side tires and wheels. Can't really tell where they are at the moment. Luckily, it looks like uh, wherever they are, there's not much traffic. Uh, so hey guys, no. the old Northeast is going to be cliff drive. And you guys cliff have drive. to fix the IFB and go mix, and go mix okay. minus. Okay, so it was cliff drive. I did hear him say that as we try to figure out this audio issue. But uh, look at it, it is on rims. As we saw that officer throw out the stop sticks and that car speed by and those stop sticks sort of catching the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, speeds are definitely lower than they were. Sky 41, just checking in with you. We're out here east of the uh, buildings. But if we still have all right, yeah, tough to see too much inside the car there at that point. But as you said earlier, it did appear there's a passenger in the vehicle. Uh, who knows what condition the driver or the passenger are in. It looked like, to me, several shots were fired at the gas station. So what you'll see whenever they enter a treat area like that, you'll notice our camera zooms out, and that is to broaden out the view so that when you see that car emerge from any tree cover, you can catch it and not be zoomed in so far that you miss it, but definitely had done a good job, zoomed out, then have now caught the activity moving through, like you had mentioned, this sort of more residential area. And now there is school a school bus, bus here at mm. 4.30 on a Wednesday afternoon. It is a very possible there are kids or were kids on that bus at some point. Look at the smoke now. It'll start to spark and potentially catch fire pretty soon, maybe. Yeah, I don't know too much about cars. Not sure if you do, I but don't, I wouldn't think no. you could drive in that condition too far before things totally give out. Well, clearly it obviously gets much harder to handle it. Yes, this absolutely. Point as well. At a much lower speed, as we've been saying. I can speak to driving on a flat tire and realizing how difficult it is to maneuver the vehicle even with just a flat tire, but never driven on rims. I, I have not. Not an easy task, say. though, I'm sure. Um, Captain Greg, if you can hear us, so uh, where are they now? Okay, guys, I uh, hope our audio is a little bit better. We're now going to be uh, eastbound on St. John, and I want to say about... Um, or maybe just east of Jackson now. So right in the heart of the old Northeast District. St. John and Jackson in the heart of the Northeast District. Captain Greg, if you can, take us back to the beginning and what you saw happen at that gas station. Uh, yeah, you know, you guys, you actually, you got a better look at it than I did because uh, we were actually maneuvering there and, and talking to the police helicopter. We were kind of shocked that the, the surface guys couldn't box him in a little better. This guy obviously very desperate to not get caught as he made the escape from that the gas station. Uh, I think much of the surprise of those uh, patrol officers that uh, at least attempt to box him in there. Uh, well, I couldn't see any shots fired. I know Christy talked about that. Uh, but uh, this guy now, now still eastbound over here in the old northeast district, kind of heading over uh, actually east of Van Brunt now. Yes, we're left watching that video again. Screen, Definitely, Captain, shots, Definitely were fired. shots fired. Here, yeah. 
watch this again. And Captain, uh, it appears a passenger is in the uh, passenger seat. Can you see that uh, along the way here? Tell you the truth, guys, you can probably see that better than I can. I'm, I'm okay. looking at this out the window from a thousand feet. Tim's on the uh, on the camera, obviously doing an awesome job with yeah. this. This yes. is going on now for quite some time. Uh, this going all around the east side uh, of Kansas City, Missouri. And now we're coming down into the industrial park. Look at this. Uh, on the the, uh, spinning out right there. So spinning out. Yeah, Police pulling out. You can see some definitely some smoke coming from the vehicle. It's hard to tell if that's engine or uh, rims related, but uh, officers with guns drawn. You can only imagine. Five officers there now on scene. We can see, yeah. And the hands are up, so now, that's good. Now you can see someone's also gotten out. The black tank top we were talking about, both of them out. Oh, and another a third one person. coming out. We're watching you, watching with you as this unfolds live here. All live. Captain Greg, where are we? Um, okay, this is going to be like Winchester and St. John, I believe. So a lot of people know where the uh, Super Flea Market is over in the oh, very yeah. end of the Northeast District. Uh, and there's a park there. I'm not sure which park that is, but basically right on the very edge of, the, uh, of that industrial area. So it appears, hopefully, a peaceful ending in the works here after those shots fired earlier by a police officer. Couldn't tell if any shots had come from the car at any point. It didn't appear so from what we could see. Um, it's interesting to see the different ways they you have to deal with different individuals involved with this. With the two getting out of the car from the passenger seat and the back seat, we saw them direct them to walk over to them, and this is how we're seeing them uh, be with the driver. It's hard to tell if that means they feel the driver is uh, obviously maybe more of a threat at this point, or if they can't be certain that the two in the pa in the you know passengers in the vehicle may or may not have been willing participants. So mm -hmm. they definitely saw them treating them a little bit differently than we did. Uh, see how they treated the driver, which who did, in fact, we watched live on television or watched on video, uh, ram that police car to flee from that gas station. So here, if you're just joining us, left hand side of your screen, this is the gas station. Isaac, awesome job. Stolen car, police have pursued. The guy had stopped for gas, and then this is what unfolds on the left side of your screen. You'll see shots fired here. Yeah, this all happening within the past half hour. The police officer. Uh, firing at the uh, cruiser as it tries to get away, eventually driving through this yard, making its way onto a nearby street. And the chase went on then for at least another 10 or 15 minutes. There's the stop stick, see? So the officer was able to throw him out just enough to catch the driver's side of that vehicle. Yes, without that, this could easily yeah. still be going on for sure. But now it appears uh, it's come to a peaceful ending. Uh, a man, and it appears two women in custody. So we'll continue to gather information here if we get some direction on whether or not we want to go to. We're going to take a little bit of a break. You've been with us watching this unfold live here um, on 41 Action News as we follow this police chase live here uh, through our city. It does appear they are removing items from the suspect at this point. We'll get, keep following this and give you updates when we have them. The Now KC back after this.